Hi, welcome to my channel. I am new to YouTube. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Today I have some first impressions and I'll be retrying some stuff that I wasn't so sure about. I have in my hand the new Milk Cosmetics Flex Stick. Um, I tried it with a primer, but I think that's why I didn't like it, so I did want to try it again. The shade I got is, um, what shade is this? Golden Nude. <laughs> and I'll be trying out the Jeffree Star palette and some Kylie Cosmetics products. I don't even know how to apply a stick foundation. I just, I don't use them. So... I guess I'll just, I have some breakout. <laughs> this feels so weird to me. Alright, maybe now I have enough, I feel like I have a mask on. <laughs> I'm guessing a brush would be the best way to apply this. Maybe, I don't like that. Maybe a denser one? I don't know. I know someone who loves this, and I tried it, but the primer made it slide everywhere. This does look better than it did with the primer. I used it with the Milk Cosmetics primer, the Hydro Grip, and usually I love that, but the two together, oddly enough, because they're the same brand, um, on my skin just was making it... Yeah, because that doesn't look half bad. So, I guess if you have dry skin, or, like, I have dry combination skin more towards the dry side. It looked awful on me, but it looks good now. Hmm. I was going to take this back, too, but something told me to try it without primer on. And I actually really like it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Well, see, the nose is the truth teller with the foundation on me. Oh, that is a good color. Alright, so. And I think I wasn't using a dense enough brush either. Because I was trying to use that fluffy foundation brush and a beauty blender. But yeah, that actually looks really good. I have these that I want to retry. I loved this and I loved this with another foundation. But the first time I tried this foundation, I tried it with these and I didn't like it. But I really think it was that primer. Because, I mean, I put the foundation on before any of this, and I was like, this is awful. I tried it with something else, and it looked good. So, it was the combo, I think. And this is the shade Pine Nut in the Kylie Concealer. This is for, like, a light, medium skin tone like mine. I'm just going to put it in this area right here. I just like to, I have a little forehead, so I like, like to highlight it a little bit. A little right here. Brighten it up. Okay, just gonna blend that out. So, do any of you guys watch the show Euphoria? If you do, you should comment your favorite character. I'm obsessed. I just found it a couple weeks ago, and my second look I filmed was inspired by Maddie. I love her character. In a lot of ways, she reminds me of me. When I was a teenager, she was a little more wild than I was, but there's definitely a lot of similarities. The lip liner and the attitude. I was a tomboy, but when I did wear makeup, lip liner was my favorite thing. Lip liner, ponytail, and hoop earrings. I was one of those girls. <laughs> Or I just dressed like a boy. It depended on the day. <laughs> so just keep blending that out. Okay. Um, yeah, I like this today. I like it a lot. It was the combination. I don't Oh my god, I love this powder. It's so light. I was using the Laura Mercier, and a small one retails for like $22, and a large one I think is like close to $50. 
I just get the minis because they last me forever. I don't wear makeup every day. Oh. Unless I'm doing like clients because I'm a freelance makeup artist. I just hardly use powder. I like that it comes in the shade, different shades. Like they have one for darker skin people, medium people, light people. This is yellow. It like when I use Laura Mercier, I get like that white cast and it definitely lightens my makeup and makes it look super powdery and light. I don't like that overly highlighted Kim Kardashian look. Oh, for the moment of truth. Oh, I've been waiting so long to play with this. Well, actually like a month. He announced it and then released it pretty quickly, but it feels like a long time. Okay. So, let me open this baby up. What do we get? What do we get? I like that they put the shade names under the pans because Morphe does not do that with a lot of their palettes. Their Jocelyn Hill palette, they, it came with like a thing that you could like glue to it and the shade names were on the back. I cannot stand that. Especially when you're trying to explain to people what you're doing when you're doing their makeup. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, and I like, I love him and I do watch his channel. So he put wand noise because you know his intro and he does, hi, welcome to my channel. And he does the little wand noise. That's cute. Oh, the first dress says, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Ooh. There's a pressed glitter in here. That's so pretty. Should I do swatches? I'm going to do a couple. I'm going to have to like go outward to do them though. That's pretty. And I got... I'm just gonna do the shimmers drive through, which is like a um, a dark goldy green. Ooh, they do swatch really good. Custom rims. It's that silver shade. Yeah, and I barely touched it. That's pretty nice. Mmm, dog mom. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows that I am such a dog mom. I'm always posting pictures of my dogs. They are my babies. My life revolves around them most of the time. <laughs> it's kind of sad. <laughs> oh, so we got designer label. Just champagne shimmer. Oh, you, you can do like a natural look. I like how he did that. You can do a natural look with some shimmers. You can do like a magenta hot pink look and then there's some shimmers that go with that. Bright greens. I don't know what I want to do. I think that I'm, I'm wearing pink and I have, well, let me zoom in so you can't see my horrible creasy background from Amazon. I'm not happy with, I'm definitely sending this back. It looks like shit. <laughs> All right, let me stop rambling on and play with this makeup. All right, so I am going to dip into Lynn and use that as a base shade. Just rub these creases out with that. Ooh, that is pigmented. Sometimes you get a palette, the nude shades, like, do not cover very well. You gotta, like, build them up. I like that right away. It did what it was supposed to do. Alright. So now I am going to grab another brush. What size brush do I want to use? Um, I'm going to do this fluffy brush. And I am going to... What the hell? Uh, I'm going to go into the shade Pink Fleet, which is this like magenta-y pink weird shade. I like it though. It's different. I like oh, the shade and the shade names that he came from or came up with. I can't talk. Don't mind me. I'm just tired. I'm just going to blend that back and forth. Yeah, that's really pigmented. Sometimes I don't like Morphe palettes because I feel like they're patchy, but this is actually blending really good. I know everybody like loves Morphe because they're affordable. But, oh, did I say what this um, palette retails for $35? My friend got it for me as a gift. I did her wedding makeup. She actually is the one who suggested that I create this channel. I was so nervous. I was like, I don't know if I want to be on camera doing this. 
because you know you gotta focus and talk and try to be interesting as you can be i started like a weight loss channel because i lost a whole bunch of weight on keto and then i decided that i wanted to eat carbs with my fiance and drink beer and be lazy this summer and i gained most of the weight back i actually went back on keto and lost about 10 pounds in the past two weeks so definitely i actually noticed it i was like editing a video and um looking at my first video i lose weight in my face and my arms first and unfortunately that's where i gain it too and it does go towards the now build that up some more let's keep building it up Okay, I was playing with some hair extensions today. I bleached my hair and ended up losing about like a foot of hair. My hair was all the way down my back. So I decided to get some hair extensions. I haven't had my hair as short as, it's like up to here. That short since like high school. So I feel like kind of like not myself. Um, What color do I want? I think I'm going to go into the color. I can't decide between mogul and self-made. I think I'm going to go into mogul, which is this hot pink shade. Dip my brush in and tap off the excess and go right into the crease with that. Kind of like up, down into the corner. Yeah, these shades are so pigmented. I wouldn't expect anything less from Jeffree Star. He knows how to make good makeup. Let's go over here. I'm one of the, like, I see people do a whole eye and then go to the other side. That is one of the hardest things, because, like, I do makeup on other people, but I don't teach makeup. So, like, when I did the pearl eyeliner, which... I will put a card up here if you guys want to check that out and link it to this video. Um, yeah, having to finish a one eye and not like bounce back and forth and like be like, oh, and like tweak them both at the same time it was so hard for me because that's just how I've always done my makeup. Okay, more right here. And there. Some on my head. <laughs> okay, some more here. Like build that up to there. Out. I think now I am going to go into the shade Mogul, which is this like Barney purple color. Now I'm going to grab a concealer brush, and this is the ColourPop Villains Collection. I don't know which villain this is supposed to be. I think they're like Marvel villains. Or I don't know. I should have probably looked it up before I started using it. I just really needed eyeshadow brushes. I didn't buy them for to film with or anything or do a first impressions with. So now I'm going back with the Kylie Concealer, and I'm going to cut my crease. I'm going to do a different shape than I usually do. Kind of like a halo eye. This is not my usual shape at all. I have small eyes, so I don't know how this is going to look on my small almond shaped eyes, but we will find out. Bigger. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna go in with a little more concealer. Like creating that space in my little eyes feels weird. But hopefully it turns out pretty. Yeah, I went a little too high, so I think I'm going to just take a little bit and just try to buff the edge like that, slowly come down like that. Okay, so now... Do I want to go in the shade? I don't know her. I don't know. I don't know a little bit. My fingers. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the shade two for my lid. Let's see how it applies with a brush. It's like a pinky shimmer. Ooh, it is pretty. I think I might put crystals on my eyes. I wasn't going to, but I think this look calls for it. And I have pink Swarovski crystals. I'm like, ugh. I don't want to do that right now, but I think it's going to have to happen. I'm going to go above the brow bone and put some up here, too. And just kind of like smooth that out. And now I'm going to go back in and blend because it's a little powdery where the shimmer hit it but that's not bad it's an easy quick fix just kind of blend that into it i like when i'm doing like crazy looks to have it come in like toward my nose like that right there let me grab some more of the shade self-made and Blend along the edges of that purple. Same thing on this side. Just keep going in circular motions. It's my first time doing like a halo eye. I'm not going to be the cleanest lines. And I did dip back into the shade Mogul, which is that like Barney purple color. That's what I'm calling it. And just kind of going around here. I'm going to take this underneath here too. All right. Put more green in here. Wake and Bake is kind of fitting for this shade. Now, um... Hmm. Ooh. And I'm gonna go in with the darker green shade, Nate. And I got an idea. Kind of reminds me of that game Frogger. I don't know if you ever played that when you were a kid, but... That's what it reminds me of. You're like crossing the road or like logs and you'd like fall in and die. <laughs> At least I did. <laughs> Just kind of tap that in. Yeah. I don't like the brush for that. I'm gonna eh, use this one. Alright. And pick up some green. And go. Ooh, like with the purple. You know, when you're learning like color properties, usually with eyeshadow, it doesn't like mix and change that much. But I feel like I'm dealing with paint because it kind of like turned 
like a different shade of like blackish green, but I'm not mad at it. Not mad at it. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to make myself look like some kind of rainbow lizard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay. I feel like a peacock. Like a hot pink fluorescent peacock. <laughs> Maybe more, more, more. Now, I think I'm just gonna, cause these kind of shades just go so much better when you put them on with your finger. This is what I got so far. And when you put the eyeliner on and the lashes, it's gonna look a lot different. So I'm going to go into the shade Glam Rapids, which is this shimmery light green. And I'm gonna pop it right here. This look dramatically changed in the past like 10 minutes. I think I'm gonna do a pink look. I, I'm gonna look like a pink and purple lizard peacock alien. Whatever that means. <laughs> I change species every five minutes. <laughs> Okay, so I'm back from putting my lashes on. I wasn't going to because I didn't want to take the time to do it. But I got these Sororsky crystals from AC Moore. And I really want to put a couple on my eyes. Because I just want to. I don't know. <laughs> Doing all this literally to do nothing. What? So these are a pain in the ass to open and they're really hard to like not get everywhere. Okay, so now I got those open. I am going to dab a little bit of glue where I want to put the gems. Ow, my cartilage keeps getting caught in my fucking hair extensions. That shit hurts. Cartilage piercings, all right. So I think I'm gonna put one here. And then do like a little bit of a pattern for the wing. If you watched my pearl eyeliner video, then you know I love using nail art pens to apply gems because you just touch it and it holds it upright. And it's not like tweezers where it's like sliding everywhere and you look all crazy trying to. And I'm gonna put one there, and I think I'm gonna put one right here and then right there. Same thing, grab an upright one with my wax pen and position it in place right here. Ooh, those are so pretty. And they're real Swarovski, so expensive, like 30 for like six bucks. And I got like a whole thing of gems. They're not as pretty and shiny because they're not real Swarovski off of Amazon for like $10 and this. Got like Hold on, let me show you. Like a pack of a thousand <laughs> of different sizes, but these go more with the look and they're so pretty. One right here and one right here. Can you just like stick to my pen? Thank you. All right. here and one right here to kind of like keep a pattern going you zoom in because I feel like you guys can't really see what I'm doing okay right 
here. And then I'm going to put a few right there, I think. bronzer ever um do I want to yeah I think I want to add a couple more like one right here when you're doing gems the key is to stick with a pattern because if you just like place them randomly they're not gonna look all that cute and put together Discovering this nail art wax pen for makeup like changed my life. It really did. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna do one more there. Let's see how I feel. Okay, now that I finished doing my little pattern with the gems, I am going to go in with a Marc Jacobs. I believe this is the highliner. Highliner gel crayon in the shade black. And just do my waterline. This is one of the best eyeliners. It's pretty pricey though. It's like 20, 25 bucks. I'm just gonna get the corner a little so it doesn't look so unshaped. Okay, so now what do I want to do? I think I am going to go in with the Maybelline Color Sensational lip liner in the color. 104 gone something I can't I don't know how to say that Grigy so something weird. I don't know and I'm gonna line my lips I used to like overline my lips like crazy now I just go around a natural sheet doesn't really look that good in person <laughs> when you do that. And I had to tell me and I was like, yeah, I guess you're right. I think I'm gonna do like a little bit of ombre. Okay, so. Now I am, oh, what color is this? Oh, I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Jenner Velvet Matte Lipstick in the color Charm and blend these together. I forgot how insanely pigmented these lipsticks are. I don't want all that pigment because I want it to blend so I'm going to wipe it off on here. I should have used the creme brulee stick, which I think I'm going to use in the middle. But right now I am gonna go back in with this liner because I didn't think it was gonna cover it all that much like it is right now. Because I did want a little bit showing. I am doing a dramatic look after all. This makes me want to go to like a concert or do something fun. 
I feel like an Arabian mermaid peacock. <laughs> I don't know. I ate an edible. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like this. I like this look a lot. Like ombre a little. Hang it in right here. I look on the colors like melt together. And I don't know what shade I want to use. If I want to use the Milani Plumpin or the Hard Candy Plumping Lip Serum. This is the color Flamingo. Mm, I don't know. I think I might use both and mix them. I need a mirror so I'm not like looking into the screen up there. Alright. The wand hit above my lip and just messed me up. I like the Milani texture better. It's more glidey. This one I kind of have to like... I can hear you and I'm filming. Shush. And now I'm going to go in with the Milani in the middle. And just... Does that look? Uh, I need to block that. That looks a little <laughs> crazy. Mm, all right, hold on. I'm gonna block real quick. Little, little too much product on the lips. Okay. Now, I'm gonna go in with some highlighter. This is the Laura Geller New York in, oh, it's Gelati, Gelato Swirl Illuminator and Gilded Honey. That's it, that's what it's called. And I'm gonna take a fan brush. And I just think this gives me like a better application than using a big fluffy one. And I'm just gonna go right here and bring my highlight forward. Might want to get a mirror that might help a little bit and right here and just like forward and up i think it really makes your cheekbones stand out a lot better when you do that some people just do too much highlight right here and on the bridge of the nose right above the eyebrow i don't like highlight in the middle i like to highlight above the forehead it's kind of like uh, and maybe a little right here. And right here in my Cupid's bow. I look like a harem girl. <laughs> Let me take these out so I can get a good look at the final look. Okay. So. Yeah, now that I use the foundation without any primer and just moisturizer underneath it, I like it a lot better. The Kylie concealer and setting powder, I have like little brush hairs on my face, are amazing. And um, yeah, this palette, $35 for one, two, three, four, five, six, one, four, five, 30 shades for $35 and the quality of it. Definitely worth it. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe.